Hey folks, some rumbles of thunder this afternoon, but that has all disappeared. That's what it looks like now. Rain just poof, it's gone as quickly as it showed up and not much left out there now. Skies are just partly cloudy. Rain pretty hard about midday or so, but that all has since moved out. And I think tonight should be quiet. Tomorrow, I can't rule out a brief shower in one or two spots mainly during the afternoon, but sunshine will dominate again tomorrow. And as we go forward into Thursday, same kind of thing, mostly sunny and very warm, and the chance of rain drops to not zero, but close. We're going dry in the forecast, 20% tomorrow, then after that dry. So if you get rained on Thursday or Friday, you'll be one of the lucky ones. Here's a look at temperatures right now, still 93 in Rio Grande City. And really, for late August, this is not bad. 91 in McAllen, 88 in Westlaco, courtesy of those clouds and showers earlier today. Tomorrow, Back to normal and probably above in many locations. With the humidity, it'll feel like anywhere from 105 to 110. So the heat is on across the area tomorrow and probably for the rest of the week. We're going 97, 100, 99. And those numbers should hold as we head into the weekend. Maybe backing off a little bit, though, as we increase the rain chances just a little bit for Saturday, Sunday, and probably even for Monday. Of course, we're also tracking Hurricane Laura. For us, it's good news because it's going to stay well away from us. We talked about the impact on the coast. Like it's like dropping a, a, a rock in the puddle and the waves go out in every direction. So we see uh, some higher than normal uh, waves at the coast and that causes some coastal flooding. But aside from that, this storm is, is going to stay well away from us out in the Gulf and then headed up into the northwestern Gulf of Mexico. Beginning to get its act a little bit better organized today as it moves in that direction. It's 480 miles southeast of Lake Charles right now. The winds are 80. And by the time we get to middle of the night, probably up to 100 miles per hour, we'll probably see a more well-defined eye rather than that overcast, that dense overcast we see in the middle right now. As it goes to the northwest by tomorrow afternoon, winds up to 110 miles per hour. Look at the hurricane warnings in effect for the Gulf waters, for the coast, and then inland as well. And then back from San Luis Pass up into Houston, they're under tropical storm warnings. So the city of Houston, Harris County, under a tropical storm warning. But the east side, once you get east of Harris County, it's all hurricane warning because, again, remember, I think it'd be anywhere in this cone, and it's not just a little dot spinning like that. It's something that this, that's this big, so it comes in and affects an awful lot of people, not just those where that dot is, and that includes all the way over to perhaps New Orleans. Now, by the time we get to Thursday afternoon, it's up around Texarkana and Shreveport and continue to move away. It gets caught up in the westerlies, and it moves out quickly, so it's not going to hang out over southeast Texas for three, four days like Harvey did. Here's the spaghetti models. This red one is the Hurricane Center's official forecast. All the models a little bit west of that, but it looks like still northward movement eventually and then again out to sea. But again, you can see by that movement, it's not going to spend a lot of time there. So yes, five to ten inches of rain possible, but not 30, 40, 50, 60 like what we saw with Harvey up there a few years ago. Tonight, then partly cloudy and muggy, 76 for a low. Tomorrow, back up to 97, mainly dry. Could be an isolated shower, but most areas stay rain-free. Your first one, five accurate with the forecast for the next seven days. Here comes that slight chance for a shower with thunderstorm again over the weekend. That takes temperatures down a notch into the mid-90s, and by Tuesday, back to 100 once again. That's your updated first one, five accurate with the forecast.